What's up guys, it's your boy Dark Skin and we are back with another video today. Um, if you did not check out my video yesterday talking about uh, Sasuke, and Six Path Sasuke and Six Path Naruto's limit breaks, I go into uh, just how busted they we, they, they we, just how busted they will be and um, a couple different things like that and to follow up on that video, um, oh, and I also talked about how like uh, they, they may be the limit breaks for anniversary because going off the timeline that we have right now They will be the anniversary limit breaks But um in this video I want to follow up and talk about why I personally don't think that they're going to get a limit break, right? Um, so uh, in this video, that's what we're gonna be discussing uh, Sorry, my, I just lost my train of thought anyways, so yeah, um all the other blazing fest uh before let's say before the uh like new limit break crystal like zabaza rock lee atachi um all of those units they needed a major boost to compete with regular units that's why they got a uh limit break they were just like like whenever you have keaton sasuke at 1600 attack you kind of need heart atachi who had like a 1300 attack stat to get a limit break to compete with sasuke even though keaton sasuke was a regular unit you feel me Keaton Sasuke was a regular um, banner unit. Atachi was Blazing Fest, and Keaton Sasuke had like 300 more attack. So um, limit, a limit break for Atachi was needed, so, right? So um, in those cases, they were definitely needed. Now going on to the new generation of limit breaks, and now I'm talking about like Minato, Utakata, and those units. Um, Blazing Fest units, uh, those Blazing Fest units have been out for so long they were outdated that's just how it is all their multipliers were a lot lower than other units all of their attack stats and stuff were a lot lower than other units um they really needed a limit break that, to be uh relevant in this current meta like um i know minato is he, he was really good but with this limit break he he's become like a really like like in pvp he was like a good unit but now he's like really good he's the second fastest unit in the game first fast the first um fastest unit in the game as far as um like viable units because p venom castle naruto is good but i don't really consider it viable but i don't know um utakata utakata had good damage he was really good his gimmick was good the double ult thing but he was outdated his multipliers just weren't doing enough damage especially with kabuto coming being released and uh, six path Obito smacking everything for like a hundred thousand damage. He needed a limit break, right? So all these units actually need limit breaks because they're outdated. They're not really cutting it. They're not really doing their job or what they need to do. One tail Naruto is an exception because he, what he does makes him busted. But if one tail Naruto doesn't boost himself to 150, he wasn't gonna do enough damage, right? So uh, without that 150 boost he was outdated now the fact that he can 150 boost himself kind of made him a little op but you know what i'm saying all of these units madara as good as he was he wasn't putting out as much damage as he used to uh he was outdated so um yeah that leads me to my next thing do you guys think that six paths naruto and renegade sasuke are outdated do y'all think they're outdated in my personal opinion, right, and this is my opinion, you know, a lot of people may not think that, but I don't think, I think Sas Sasuke's not outdated, I just think Wisdom sucks as an element, right? Like, a lot of people, like, they, they're like, oh, Sasuke doesn't have that much damage, he doesn't do that much, blah, blah, blah. I don't think it's Sasuke, I think it's Wisdom. I feel like Wisdom needs a buff, like, as a whole. Because, like, I feel like, like, there's really no damage dealers in Wisdom, and the ones that are, are like, mediocre damage dealers when it compares to the other elements not to mention there's no healers really in wisdom either but i really don't think six path naruto is outdated i i highly i do not think he is outdated he has a 2000 almost 2100 attack stat as a mid-range unit that came out almost a year ago um he heals for what 600 a turn which is insane with abilities. 510 Chakra, Field and Buddy skill are insanely good. His Sync skills are probably the best Sync skill set in the game. His uh, Jutsus do insane stuff. It removes barrier, uh, ignores a substitution, perfect dodge, AOE, 
uh, gives a chakra on his first juke. He's just insanely good. And I, I think the same for Sasuke. I feel like Sasuke is an ex insanely good unit also, right? So off of those two, I do not think they are outdated. But, um, we, uh, you know, obviously I don't know what Bandai's going to do. Uh, Bandai can do what they want. But I do not think they're going to get a limit break for the simple fact. I feel like all these other units are getting limit breaks because they're outdated. Like Hashirama. Hashirama has a 1300 attack stat. Now you take Hashirama, you take Keaton Sasuke, then you take um, Six Path Madara along with Blazing Fest Itachi. All those units that I named outside of Hashirama had an attack stat of like 2000. Blazing Fest Itachi's was what, 800? Kita Sasuke's is now 2100. Uh, Six Path Madara's is like 22, 2300 as a long range unit or something crazy. And I know it's Six Path Madara, so eh. But you got you gotta understand, like, Itachi came out way long ago, right? Even though when he first came out, his attack stat was also 1300. But it's like Hashirama came out months after and had the same attack stat. So he, he needed one. I think they all needed one. So. But where is the line drawn? I think the line needs to be drawn right before Six Path Naruto and Renegon Sasuke. I just do not think they need a limit break. All right? I think the line is drawn at Hashirama. I think they need to wait a couple months and let Blazing's uh, power creep get higher. Let Blazing's um, damage get higher before they limit break them. Now, um, I do think... They will get limit broken just because that's how Bandai is, and they like making stuff busted. Like they they broke they they limit broke one tail Naruto, bruh. Like I, I do think these units are gonna limit break. I do think they're gonna limit break on anniversary, but do I think they should get a limit break? No, I don't think. Uh, this is well, pretty much this video is explaining why I think they shouldn't get a limit break. They are not outdated. But anyways, uh, that's gonna be about it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.